Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Felix Arts. So, guys, in this video, I'll show you how to use some few tools on the Sketchbook app. So, um, this tutorial is um, is how to use Sketchbook app in 2024. First of all, I'm using the latest version of Sketchbook. It's in the Play Store. You can download it right there. Now, in this video, I'll show you the tools I use. Okay. So, these are the few tools I use. I use the smudge brush, the smudge round bristle brush. I use the paint stamp pad. Then I use the hard eraser. Okay, this is it right here, hard eraser. So these are the ones I've already used. Like this right here, I I replaced the, the tool right here. So like um, I don't need to scroll all the way down to look for the tool. So now these are the tools right here. Okay, I use the uh, smudge round bristle brush. And I use the paint pad, I use the hard eraser, I use the flow airbrush, then I use the the hard line airbrush. Sometimes I do use these two, but not every time. Okay, now um I didn't use those like I didn't use the the actual colors that you are seeing here in this section. I didn't use them. I used the colors from the from the I use the, uh, like I use the color from the color wheel, okay. I use the color wheel to to create my own colors. You know, in the previous version, you can use the copy color, like the like um, the one for the skin. So I showed you how to use those ones. But right here, I found my own color, like I created my own color. So now in this tutorial right here i will show you how to use the paint tab pad okay so this video here is for the paint tab pad now what you do here is that you just click on the tool then you look for the paint tab pad then once you're on you are on that that tool then you can hold right here then reduce the opacity down so like i do take the opacity down let's say to let's say to eight percent okay now once the once it's down to eight to eight percent now you can use your color picker to pick on this skin color right here now you can reduce the opacity down okay you can take the luminance down to 20 percent reduce the size okay then you can start doing some few shades like this so now um, I created a new layer for it okay so I'm going to take it down right here okay now we we'll start to use the paint and pad I prefer this a little bit but it's not that accurate the way you want it to look like because you still need to use the the smudge brush to make it look smooth but uh, if you want to make your shadings look somehow rough like this like it's going to look like a, like a paint like a paint brush okay you can see that it's showing many layers so like as you shade it keeps on getting darker and darker okay so like i like this method a lot and i discovered this when i said that i'm going to be moving to illustration so like i'm very happy that i'm learning new things every day okay so this is very fast and easy you can see I don't need to use the smudge brush so like it's very is is very fast and reliable okay if I was using the the hard airbrush I could have been using the smudge brush to make it smooth but this right here will make your work like like you can work very fast using the 
using the paint stamp pad in this form. You just need to reduce the luminance down. Okay, now you can use the dark color to add some few colors, to add some shadows like this. So once you are done with that part, then you can also move down here to the to the arm side. Then you can take the luminance back to 20. Then you increase the size. Then you do something like this. Okay. Then you can also add it like this. So now you can see it's very easy and fast. Okay, like it's very easy and reliable. Now you can use the hard eraser to erase. So now, that, so, so now guys, that's it for this video, thanks for watching.